Naruto episode 108, The Haunted Inn. So this episode, of course, is the next chapter of the tiny mini arc that we have for Mirai, Kakashi, and Guy. Um, unfortunately, it was just like a boring episode to me. It was like, I, I like seeing Guy scared. I thought that was entertaining because it was like, oh, you know, much like older Kakashi, Guy, you know, them adding a, a small layer to Guy's character where it turns out he's like, he freaks out from ghosts. Um, that's funny. I, I thought that was entertaining. So I like that element. Thought it was fun. Uh, Mariah, of course, by the end of the episode, does use the chakra blades. Surprise, surprise. Like every episode is her doing something closer to realizing exactly who she is. I wish it just came from an entertaining arc. Like if they were dealing with some, you know, really crappy mystery or some case, anything bad actually happening, it would be more entertaining. Like I get what they're doing with like the, you know, the small incremental stuff with her character. Um, you know, going through the process, you know, like the last episode using of course the lighter using asuma's uh chakra or uh chakra blades in this episode you know getting more attached to her father they had actually a really decent moment with her talking to kakashi like her drive to prove that there was no such thing as ghosts was because it hurt her to think if ghosts are real then you know why didn't my dad visit me i was like that's actually a really good scene i thought that was well done small little segment of the episode but i was like i like that I, that's an interesting motivation to be like i have to prove ghosts are fake because i've never known my dad and he never visited me so I thought that was cool. I like that element. Um, so, so that was pretty entertaining. They don't touch on it at the end when they do, you know, reveal the fact that the ghost was real because she took all the seals off. Um, and that ghost do actually exist, which we knew from technically like the old arc from Naruto Shippuden, which someone pointed out uh, somewhere in the episode, Guy mentions that he doesn't believe in ghosts or ghosts aren't real. But they had that episode where they, you know, it's all filler, which, well, I guess the way they're doing this, technically it's not filler. It's just adding to the canon. Um, but yeah, he has seen ghosts before, so it was interesting. But it was just a meh episode. Uh, it was funny seeing Guy scared. Like I said, it was cool to see Ten Ten, especially because her whole her whole thing in the whole episode was legitimately just freaking out Guy. Like that's all she cared about was making fun of him. So I actually love that because I'm like, that's super funny. Like we like I've never seen Ten Ten as that type of character where she would you know pull pranks and stuff. So it was actually really funny to me. I was like, I actually enjoyed that just because like it, it was just interesting to see that side of her character that we've never seen before like her being playful in general isn't really much her character especially considering she doesn't get that much screen time anyway so not much of a character there to begin with but i was like i like that i like her messing with him uh him freaking out was funny like i said the small scene with mirai talking to kakashi her solving the case and it turns out that it's this little girl who will now be on their journey with them uh throughout the rest of the mini arc that we're having here I just hope we get some more stuff. Um, it was cool to see Ten Ten. Shoji's gonna pop up in the next episode. I wish they did someone who doesn't didn't already get like a couple of episodes. Um, as far as you know, the filler is concerned, like I would like to see Eno just because Eno's literally done nothing. I'd be like, well, that'd be cool. Well, you know, what would Eno be doing traveling out far? Something random like that. So hopefully we get to see more entertaining characters pop up rather than characters we've seen uh, get showcased already because. None of the adult characters get shown off that much. So I was like to have Choji in there. It's like, oh, they just did that with um, him and Chocho during the, you know, the kid festival arc or whatever. Um, or those three episodes. I can't really call that an arc. But you know, it was like, all right, he already got a focus there. He, well, he wasn't really a focus during Chocho's thing. He was just there at the beginning and at the end because she didn't realize that was like the skinny version of her dad. So it wasn't much of a showcase, but he's had some time to shine in, in Boruto. So I was like, man, I hope they show off some other characters. It would be cool if they also showed him off doing sweeter stuff. I mean, Kiba was in the last episode, but it's not like he did anything cool. He, he fought with his girlfriend and it was a crazy festival fight. And that was really it. This episode, Ten Ten was entertaining, but nothing super cool. And the next episode is going to be Choji. He's going to push the boulder by the end of the episode. And that's it. Um, so really nothing there. There's just not that much there. So I don't think we're going to get too much entertainment out of the next episode. This episode didn't really do much. It didn't even do as much as I was hoping. Um, I don't... Hmm. It's hard to say if I like this one over the last one because i was hoping i'd enjoy it like i knew it wouldn't be like actually scary but i was like maybe it'll be at least somewhat entertaining and it was just kind of like yeah it's just less entertaining than i thought you know it wasn't it didn't end up being a criminal it just ended up being like this little girl who's trying to honor you know her late mother and stuff and i was like okay that could it's, you know, it's not really gonna lead to that much but it's like cool some new character who will probably disappear by the end of this little arc anyway and then that's really it and i was just like okay you know whatever no big deal and then it, it's over it's done and that's it it's just like yeah this episode i don't know i probably i feel like i did like the last one better 
just because it was like it felt like it at least had something to it this one oddly felt slow paced and i don't know if it's because i was so hungry while watching the episode like i just felt bored but i think it was just the episode like you know me being hungry wouldn't make me more bored but i was like man it's not entertaining enough to like distract me from how hungry i am i'm just like i'm just hungry and watching this episode nothing's really happening guys freaking out which is funny in, in some parts it's not like it was funny the whole episode i just like the element of it same with ten ten it's not like she was really funny or entertaining that she was messing with guy it was just a little bit of stuff it was as a whole that was just entertaining because i'd never seen that before like the most entertaining thing i'd say she did was freak out at the end uh when they found out ghosts are real and the part where she freaks everybody out and she has like fake blood pouring from her face and stuff and i was like wow she went really far for that so like those two little moments that's really it she was just in it just to be there and not much really happened um so that was kind of like the whole episode like i said there's like very small points mariah talking to kakashi was a good scene her drive for wanting to prove ghosts were fake they add this little girl which i don't think at this point i can't say is good or bad it's just neutral it's just like well that's interesting at least so i'm i am definitely curious to see how this character builds and how she shapes mariah you know as they go along their little journey but as of now um they haven't done anything cool with this they've had cool moments like each episode has like at least a cool scene so we've had you know like in the first one where mirai was doing it the first one actually i think is still the best episode like it was the funniest one kagashi freaking out over the tree then being at the the uh the hollow grounds um mirai doing the genjutsu i just thought looked cool the last episode had like the ending action piece it was like oh she does the genjutsu again using the fire so that looked cool and in this one uh, it had the least cool action sequence but she does use the blades which i figured was going to happen i was hoping that it was going to be a thief and so we'd actually see her use the blades in an actual fight sequence but instead she just slices a statue and they talk about like oh if you don't control that that can be super dangerous and she's like yeah i didn't think it would be that sharp so i thought that was cool um like i said like each of these episodes has like slight moments that are nice but overall none of them have really been that good except for like i said personally i think the very first one where they actually go on you know this mission so to speak um to the sacred ground where they filmed <laughs> the make out paradise movie i thought it was the funniest episode and I, I think that's really it It was the funniest episode like i said each one so far has had at least a tiny action moment this one the least of the three so far but you know it wasn't really super funny and it didn't really have the most entertaining action and oddly it felt i thought it was gonna be more entertaining. i think i mentioned my last review i thought it would be more entertaining because it was so tight-knit I was like, man, this should be really entertaining because it's going to be like four people. And that's pretty much what they have because it's Kakashi, Guy. Uh, actually, Tenjin is really only in the beginning and end of the episode because she does kind of disappear out of nowhere. Um, so she's in for maybe the first five or so minutes and then she pops up when she's trying to freak them out at the end. So you have these four characters and then they have like the random guest characters, the people at the spa and stuff like that. And I was really hoping we'd have more. And they had like one scene and it was Mariah talking to Kakashi about the ghost thing and, you know, being like, I have to prove they're fake because my dad never visited me. And, you know, if they were real, then that really sucks. And that was the only moment. And I was like, I thought the whole, maybe not the whole episode, but I thought for sure with them, you know, cutting it down there in this end, it takes place within a couple of hours. It's not like they travel from day to night and they're in the festival or any of that stuff. They're just in this place they're staying overnight they solve the mystery and everything within the span of a few hours and then it ends the next day as they're leaving i thought that would have led to some really good content because i'm like it's just characters talking that's all they have to do and it was just like no oh, this is boring it was just like it was the fake ghost mystery then end up being a cool little action sequence where it ends up being a thief or something going through um just ends up being this girl who like i said hopefully that can lead to something cool because right now it's totally neutral it's like i'm not i don't hate the fact that they added this little girl in there i'm more it's more of a pro than a con because it's like at least it's something new it's a brand new character she won't add anything to the series as a whole of course unless i'm totally wrong that would be a huge twist but random character comes into play it's like all right let's at least see what that does going forward so it's you know unless she becomes the most annoying thing in the universe it's at least a minor con or a minor pro which at this point is like slightly neutral because she just got introduced but other than that it wasn't much of an episode i, I was unfortunately disappointed because i thought for sure i was like okay it's gonna be kind of spooky which i like horror so i was like i know it's not gonna be scary but I was like i like that element at least like kind of teasing it a little bit that's entertaining um the tight-knit nature of the episode my hopes for that at least i, I was going into it with so it was kind of just my expectations for thinking they'll at least write some good stuff 
and it was just nothing like all of it was just about the ghost and just how they didn't know what they believed or you know they, they were arguing about what they believed what was real what wasn't real um it kind of like it was just inter- it was just interesting just going through i was like yeah it's kind of a boring episode and nothing really comes of it except for them adding this girl in who's going to be here for like maybe the next five or six episodes who knows um but definitely want to know what you guys thought about it so please put your comments down in the comment section below let me know your favorite parts about it least favorite parts about it um i don't know I, I mean just this episode uh what do you think they're gonna end up doing with this little girl like is it gonna be positive is it gonna be a negative addition for however many episodes she's in the show want to know what you guys think about that and just what it could possibly lead to good or bad i'm hoping i, I imagine this wouldn't happen but considering the girl is just a random character on her own and she's like you know i wanted to visit all these places that um my mom always wanted to go but she never had the chance to maybe that could lead to some random thing is like surprise she's actually this really important person she secretly ran away from her family maybe part of that was real you know the story where her mom never got to go to these places because of some crazy horrible life they had it could lead to something cool like that i just don't know if i'm that hopeful for it but we'd love to know your predictions on that and like i said definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode as a whole so please put your comments down in the comment section below and of course thanks for watching